Hi friends, EG here. Last year, I released a video of my experience of doing somatic release exercises for weight loss and stress and trauma at home for 30 days. And I'm so grateful to help so many of you. Today, I wanted to follow up with a quick video and answer some of your most frequently asked questions. So let's dive in. First, just a reminder, I am not a somatic exercise instructor. I'm only sharing my experience. The question I get the most is, who is Liz, where do I find her, and what course is it? You can find Liz at theworkoutwitch.com. The course that I took was originally called Free Your Hips, but is now called Release Stress and Stored Trauma in 30 Days. And no, there are no woo-woo, witchy vibes whatsoever. That is just the name she goes by. Next question is, is it only 10-minute daily exercises or does Liz include some sort of journal prompts? There are a few times in the course, before, after, and in the middle, where she does have journaling prompts and questions. And I found them to be really helpful, especially in terms of what I was releasing. It helped me be more self-aware of what was going on in my emotions during the course. Another one I got asked a lot is, did you stop all other forms of exercise during the 30 days of somatic release exercises? I did not stop working out. And from Liz's site, she says, high intensity workouts are not recommended while doing the courses. These kind of workouts will just keep you in biological stress cycles and prevent you from releasing stress and stored trauma. She recommends low intensity workouts such as walking, swimming, light weightlifting, Pilates or yoga, and maybe like a seated bike at the gym. I did continue working out, but I did not do any high intensity workouts. I also got the question a lot about people who were considering doing the course, but they read some reviews about bad video quality or a dog being in the videos. And also there was a concern about um, repeating videos for certain days. When I first got in the course, when it was called Free Your Hips, the videos were not the best quality. The sound was not the best quality, but I could see clearly and I could hear what she was saying. And her dog did come in the sh some of the shots, but he wasn't barking, he wasn't playing around or running around. It didn't, it didn't make me feel stressed, but maybe somebody with trauma from dogs in the past, it could cause them stress. Since I originally about her course uh, in 2023, she has reshot all of her videos. The sound and video quality are much better. So I would think if that was a concern for someone, they would be uh, satisfied with her video and audio quality now. In regards to the question about videos repeating certain days, uh, you will find in the course, like for example, maybe days five through seven, those videos will repeat. I trust Liz as an instructor and I trust there are reasons why you may need to repeat certain videos for certain days for certain stress releases or certain stored trauma releases. So to answer your question, there are days where the videos repeat, but I do trust there are reasons for that. After the 30 days, what's next? Where do you go from there? There is a downloadable video you can do whenever you start to feel like a tightening in your hips. I did download that. I have not done very well with maybe doing that a few times a week. I really have no reason why because a super easy video to do. But I will say that I just purchased her course Free Your Shoulders and Neck in 30 days. Ever since I started my first desk job back in 2010, my shoulders and my neck have been really tight. I'm sure it's a combination of being at a desk and looking at a computer. But I also have a history of being a people pleaser and carrying a lot of, you know, mom, wife, stress and anxiety. And so I'm very hopeful that that video is going to help loosen up my shoulders, loosen up my neck, help me release some things. And of course, I'm going to do a video a reporting how that goes. Some of you have asked if I did redo the free your hips course I did after uh, my family and I got into a pretty bad car accident where I totaled my car um, about six months ago and myself and my kids did go through her course after that I found it to be helpful to kind of get outside of our head and get into our body and I love that I can always go back and redo that if I feel like there is a reason for it and lastly, why did I do it in the first place? Why did I feel like I needed to do it? Well, I was following Liz, Liz on Instagram and a lot of the questions, a lot of her posts were addressing concerns that I was having. Maybe it was weight that I couldn't figure out 
why I had gained it or why it wouldn't go away when I was taking such good care of myself or um, just certain body movement things that she covers that you might do if your cortisol is high. So because of my traumatic experiences in my past, physical abuse, living with an alcoholic, I thought, you know what, this is something, there may be something to this. So I hope this video is helpful. If you have any more questions about my experience with uh, Liz's course or somatic exercises in general, I will do my very best to answer them in the comments below. Or if you haven't watched my video and you're interested in checking it out, you can check it out below and I will see you next time.